Hey y'all, welcome back to The Real Fuller House. It's fall, y'all. I'm so excited, it's my favorite time of year. I love the colors and the smells and the decorations and the cute t-shirts. I did a collab with Meredith from Nothing's Ever Easy. Nothing's Ever Easy, I love that. I say that at least three times a day. Hey, I'm Meredith over at Nothing's Ever Easy. When you're done watching Jordan's video on The Real Fuller House, if you'd come to my channel at Nothing's Ever Easy, the link is in the description box and watch my part of this collaboration. I would greatly appreciate it. Over at Nothing's Ever Easy, I have cleaning videos, I have haul videos, I have RV travel videos, a little bit of cooking, and a little bit of crafting, and some homeschool videos. If you would love to like, subscribe, and stick around, that would be fantastic. Thanks so much to The Real Fuller House for having me on. I just give Meredith, like, I admire her. For the homeschool videos and homeschooling, I tried to homeschool and I, just two kids, I just tried to homeschool two kids and I failed miserably, failed. I can say that now without crying. I just wanted to applaud her for that because I think that's amazing. Go check her out. It'll be linked in the description box I'm below. i show you guys how I decorated my porch for fall. So I thought I'd start off by showing you some of the stuff I got from the Dollar Tree this year. I don't usually get stuff from the Dollar Tree at fall, so I don't know if I just happened to get there early enough this year. It wasn't all sold out or they had new stuff, but I got several rolls of the burlap and just the leaves with the little pumpkins and the berries. I just love it. So cute. I love fall. I love it. Sorry, I've said that a lot. Only thing I didn't get from the Dollar Tree was this wooden plaque. You'll see I got that and then the, I'm calling it rustic red spray paint that I got from uh, our local hardware store. I'm so excited to bring this rustic red color into the rest of my decor. Last year, I kind of went for this teal color and I'm bringing it back again because it's my favorite color, but I wanted to bring pops of this red in. So I got these cheaper foam pumpkins at Walmart. I pulled the stems out of them so I could spray paint them the color I wanted them to be and then put the stems back in them. So. That's what I do. Now this is my little stand I made. The kids have used it as a lemonade stand. Uh, we've used it for all kinds of different things. I would like to use it as a pumpkin stand. So I had to fix a couple of the slats and put some legs on it so it wouldn't tip. And I did all that, but then it needed to be painted. So I just went ahead and gave everything a fresh coat of paint while I was already at it and it was out and I'm, arguing with my kid about getting the other stuff from the building so that's what you're you're gonna see that because that's real life that's what we do we argue around here there is a chalkboard so you can change the sign and so I just give that a fresh coat of chalkboard spray paint it didn't really need it but I got a little teal paint on it so I had to fix my boo-boo I would say, other than the stand, this is my favorite thing, not dropping pumpkins, but this wagon. I have made it look rustic through the last year or so because I've just left it outside in the rain, snow, heat, everything. The rustic wagons at the antique mall were super expensive, and so I just got a regular wagon and I made it look rustic myself. And I use it a lot to decorate with. I'm just filling it with the pumpkins and the burlap and the flowers and I'm just going to play around with it for a little while till I get it to look like what I want it to look like. I'm in the backyard doing this, just kind of working on some stuff so the kids could play. I'm actually decorating the front porch. So I am going to have to move the wagon. So stuff is probably going to get messed up anyways, but at least I can get an idea of what I want to do and I can take a picture of it and try to recreate it once I get to the front yard. The next day, starting over with a clean slate, I take everything off the porch and I just set it on the ground with my decorations that I'm gonna be putting up there. I had recently hosed the porch off, so it wasn't too bad, but it did need to be swept a little bit, so I just clean it off and I have a helper who mess with my camera. Stuff falls down, I pick it up, falls down again, and I move stuff. So that's really all you guys are gonna miss. There's that wagon, you can see it does not look like it did in the backyard. Once I realized that the camera was messed up and I fixed it, I didn't wanna to have to go back and like fake it for you guys. 
you just really miss me moving a bunch of stuff around over and over and over again. So just think of it as me sparing you. So since fall is my favorite time to decorate, I have invested in my decorations. Most of my pumpkins all came from Michael's about four years ago. I got them 50% off. They were probably the same price as I would have paid for a regular pumpkin, but they weren't going to rot and be useless at the end of the season. So I've loved having these pumpkins. They've saved me a lot of money, and I'm able to spray paint them different colors. The paint does kind of wear off on them throughout the years, but you can just coat them with a fresh coat of spray paint. They look brand new. I love them. Walmart is the last two years, last year and this year have come out with some of two that I've bought. I also buy faux flowers. That way I don't have to worry about watering them or someone laying on them or stomping on them and they still look pretty. So I saved some money this year too by not using any bales of hay. Usually I use at least $25 worth of hay. This year I didn't use any. I used these crates that I already had and I really like how it looks. It gave me a place to stick pumpkins to. The cat, he loves the hay. He usually makes a big mess with it so he's missing it but I am not. A lot of the decorations are handmade either by me or someone else. This pumpkin came from the local antique mall. I made a pumpkin out of a crate, I made the pumpkin stand, my father-in-law cut the fence for me and he made me the post with the wreath on it. So I only spent about $20 this year. I used a lot of stuff from last year like this banner that came from Etsy last year. It's great, still in great condition this year. And then my scarecrows are from Joann's from last season as well. I think that's everything I've covered. I just I love how it turned out. I've gotten a lot of compliments. And then, oh yeah, writing pumpkins was not easy. I messed up a lot, but I finally got it how I wanted it. I went over it several times so it would be darker. I freehanded a little pumpkin on the end of it and just, it looks pretty good from far away, so just don't get up close. All right, that's how it turned out. I love it. I love decorating for fall. Love it, love it, love it. It turned out great. I hope you guys like it too. Make sure you check out Meredith's video. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe and you stick around for more. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.